Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the assumer. If you can't see anything right now, there's a good reason for this. It's because Minecraft is not running. No, I am not a derp. I, uh, I pressed the launch game button a while ago. For some reason it didn't load up. This time it now has loaded up. Thank goodness for that. Could have actually had some serious issues that might have needed fixing. Filman68, thank you for the bananas. Neom, thank you for the waves. Waving at me, hi. Blue Buns, welcome to the stream. It's Sunday morning. It's been a while since we did a Sunday morning stream. It feels so right to be doing this. Sundays are a little different most of the time. There's a bit of a ritual to them and stuff. Oh, that, that, that sounds going to get annoying, isn't it? There's like a bit more of a, a ritual to Sundays. And uh, this just feels very familiar. Is that, uh, I haven't done it in a while. There we go. Woo! Whoop de whoop. <laughs> oh. so I said whoop de whoop, and then like in my head I hear Dr. Dre, Compton, Long Beach, Inglewood. <laughs> Shout out to Inglewood. <laughs> Right, let's uh, let's crack on. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. Lots of people saying hello. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I got a thing that I need to do today, and then I log in, and I remembered where I logged out, and I was like, I have other things to do as well. So, you know, on on live streams we do things, and so that's what you can expect today. Some things. I was in England the past week and I'm very glad to catch an Asuma stream again, says Nelia was here. How did you enjoy England? It is my uh, country of origin. The place I reside. I did some uh, travelling yesterday up and down the country and saw a really beautiful part of it. It was nice. Actually, it was it was where I'd been on holiday last year. We We actually drove unintentionally like right next to where we had stayed um, on our little summer staycation <laughs> it was uh, it was like hang on a second we're literally driving past the place we stayed at totally totally unintentional it just you know I think it's because it's probably because these days you travel and you just ask Google Maps to sort it out for you so you don't you don't really know where you're going Right? Like Google's just giving you the directions and then you're looking ahead and you're like, oh, hang on a second, we get, we, we, we've been here before. Right? How, how, is that is that like it for a lot of people these days? Just traveling is like, ah, Google Maps will tell you, you know? Rambling PJ! 36 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Also a tier free subscription. If you did not know, you can access the Let's Play Minecraft Together server, which I'm going to do a tour on soon. Uh, we actually organized a date, and I realized I wrote the wrong month, and then the date just passed, and it was like, whoops. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm still due to do the other tour. The, the problem for me is just that uh, when I'm inspired, when I'm into Hermitcraft, like I just go kind of full tilt with it. And so I'm never quite sure like when's the right time, because I'm always inspired to do stuff on here and I want to keep that going you know at some point we'll do it all anyway the thing I was saying is you know you can go to sumovoid.com slash get whitelisted and uh, you can integrate your twitch subscription to our whitelist and get access so thank you so much again I wouldn't have been able to travel without Google Maps I remember having to buy and use physical maps in the past and it was a pain says Neil yes I Mostly avoided that. By the time I started driving, sat-nav was pretty much a thing. It's pretty much the only way I've ever driven. I tried looking for a Play Store vouchers in my town. Not a single shop sells them. I don't know what Play Store vouchers are, so I don't know why you're telling me that. Is there any way to bring the wool from the Never Farm to Wall Street? Yeah. Put them in, put them in a shulker box and bring them over. That's what we did last stream. If you mean automated, yeah, there's probably a way to. Anyway, when Wall Street gets going, I'm not going to continue with that farm. That farm was just an experiment. Ah, look at this. So we're at the very last blocks that I need to mine. There's also like... 
some stuff there that I need to fill in. Bam. Okay, let's go. Ow! Over here. Uh, Happy Panda says, thank you for keeping me entertained while I'm stuck on call. Ah, yes. Stuck on call. I know that feeling. Trisseleni, thank you so much for four months. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. The, the thing that bugs me about being on call is when you're not told, like, how far along in the line you are. Like, if I'm in one where it's like, you are ninth in line, it's like, oh, thank goodness. I can kind of do some other stuff for a little bit, right? Because, you know, ah, I got a little bit of time before I need to jump up and answer this call. Let's uh, fr uh, throw these things into their respective chests. Who's online? Actually, just me. Uh, many of the hermits are still traveling. So it's been a quiet couple of weeks. But now you know what everyone was up to. So we need to go to the nether and get more of these magma blocks, basically. And now I've got just another... Just stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Everywhere. Oh my god, it's getting out of control, isn't it? Do I need any of this, though? Is any of this like... No, I guess making more... Um, slime blocks is a good idea. I don't think I actually need any of this, though. A thistle says, should probably finish my homework, but there's a stream. You know what to do. You know what X says. I don't want to be irresponsible for your education. <laughs> do, do what you got to do, man. Priorities. It's important. Homework is more important than watching a live stream. I'll tell you that. Right. Um, yeah, so we go to the never. When we do that, we put on our goldie hat. And I think I'll be okay. I think that's about all I need. Really, because I'm just going to go pick up some magma blocks. Uh, Licky Sticky Icky is here for 55 months. Better late than never. Hope it's a good day. Hey, you're here at the beginning. Thank you so much for uh, 55. Much appreciated, my dude. Right, I've got a hot cup of decaf here. Blackjack says, remember what they say, never do today what can be put off until tomorrow. Wait, that's not what they say, is it? Is it? All right, that's still too hot, actually. I think we're going to uh, leave that a little while longer. I went to Starbucks yesterday, right? I usually I usually avoid Starbucks just because I don't like the big brand commercial, you know, uh, franchise. That's the word. Don't like that stuff. But I really wanted a, a decaf coffee, so I had one. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's the nicest coffee I've had in a long time. Like, it had all this, like, like foaminess to it. Just made the, the whole coffee a little bit richer. I don't know what that was. Richer? That's not the word. Um, like, the coffee I make at home, it's very, like, watery, right? This, this just felt more, like, there was more substance to it or something. I don't know quite how to describe it, honestly. Just realised I can do both. I'm going to do that. At least it isn't one assignment where there's 129 questions. Yeah, I know I know you might think you can do both, but really, like, quality of attention and the fact that we don't really multitask. We split attention, right? That's, that's what you'll be doing. You'll be, like, splitting your attention back and forth between two different tasks. It's it's a really important thing to learn as someone who I used to think, oh, I'm I'm a great multitasker. Me, I can do this thing and that thing, and then it's taken me like a little bit of honesty with myself and time to realize that no, you know, I heard these uh, neuroscientists and people that study the mind and stuff. They're saying no, you can't actually multitask. You're just splitting your attention back and forth, and therefore. The quality of this is not as good. And I really paid attention to that. And I noticed it. And I was like, yeah, actually, I, I set myself up to do all these different things. And I'm just not doing any of them that well. And I'm getting distracted. And yada, yada, yada. And that was me just... I had to be quite honest with myself and realize, yeah, I'm like not a multitasker. 
The, the thing is, there are some things you can multitask, and they tend to be... They tend to be like cleaning activities, like chores, doing dishes, hoovering, washing up. You can do that stuff while you listen to an audiobook or a podcast. That tends to that tends to be all right, but you can't you can't study and learn one thing whilst doing another. It's just not quite what the brain is uh, set up for. And so, like learning learning about the quality of attention that you're giving to something, I think is super important. And then, then you can know when you're doing that or not. And there are times when you need to give that quality attention to something, right? Gosh, you're starting to sound like my parents, X, says Forgill. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, right, this is something that I've learned through being someone who dispenses out some thoughts. And I've listened to lots of people share wisdoms and stuff is... There's this strange effect where, like, y your own, like, the people that are closest to you tend to be the people you listen to the least about this sort of stuff. Right? So I've had lots of people go and tell me, oh, X, you know, you talk about all this stuff and it's so helpful, thank you. And it's really great to hear that and I love it. Yet, I'll never hear that from anyone in my life because no one's actually interested, right? Like... It's a really strange phenomenon, and I knew this, but I didn't know, like, it was always, like, a bit weird and mysterious to me. Like, why is it like this? Like, why is it, like, I go online and I say a bunch of stuff, and everyone, well, not everyone, but the people commenting are really interested in it. But then you talk about it to, like, family members and stuff, and it's like, you're boring them to death. And um, then I heard someone else talk about it in a podcast, where they're like, hey, I'm this person who writes these self-help books, and I get... Loads of people messaging me, thank you for turning my life around, all this sort of stuff. And yet no one in my family treats me the same way at all. And then they said, like, one day, one day, um, my own advice came vicariously around to them through, like, a podcast that they were listening to. And then it clicked for them. And then they start talking to this family member about all the stuff that they do for a living and whatnot. And I think, I think what it is, is that, like, you don't, you don't, for some reason, we, we're just wired to not take in that kind of, like, change yourself advice from people that are actually close to us, maybe? We tend to seek it from external places. Maybe we need that kind of self-help from, uh, you know, from people that aren't actually connected to our lives for it to work for us. Like, just, just some psychological way that we're wired. Any of this making sense to anyone? X teaching me all the life lessons my dad never could, someone said in chat. Exact, that's exactly it though, right? Like, you've got this strange, like, wiring where the information, the value of the information is different based on who it's coming from. And you just tend to, like, not receive it the same way from family members as you do from strangers on the internet, basically. Is it possible your dad has said the same thing, but we tend to not listen to parents as it's generally? Yeah, my dad is always dispensing out advice to me and stuff. And I think, like, since I heard that, I pay way more attention now. And I and I can I can kind of like, like first of all realize like the value of what's being said to me better. But I still feel that weird resistance where it's like. I want to hear this from someone else. It's really strange. It's a it's a strange phenomenon, and I'm not. I don't think it's something that applies to, like, it's not like a universal thing. Because I've heard plenty of um, stories. Again, like being someone who listens to lots of podcasts, and then using that to build up like your sense of things. But I've heard stories of people who have like really great connections with parental figures who give them all the advice they need to do this and that etc and i think for some people you know it happens and for other people it doesn't but that phenomenon of like having that resistance is uh really fascinating and to hear it like vocalized 
elsewhere by someone who had like connected the dots and then seeing it yourself like some of us will just fall into that camp and maybe there's people that like somewhere in between and all kinds of different like if it's a spectrum you know like all kinds of different spots on it but yeah the other thing is as well you, you get an affirmative response so if i'm sitting here waffling about some life advice stuff um tends to be like affirmative voices that will speak up I imagine there's some people who listen to me talk about this thing or that thing and they're probably like, ah, not for me, X. You know? But like, that tends to not rile a comment up, I think. Oh, I need to make some hoppers. People you are close to tend to develop the perspective they are normal, whereas people you interact with less don't dilute your perspective and so you, you think they are special. That's a really cool take, Zorkster. That's a really cool take. I'm very aware of like a parasocial relationship and the way I consume my media is to um, like remind myself of that. Yeah, I still think I still think I come under that spell a lot. Like when I listen to some of my favorite podcasts, I I'm like, yeah, I don't actually know this person, but you still sort of hold them in a special regard. But then you in you interact with them like in this one way direction it's like through like like you have a like you get something out of it right through this one-way connection you're it's like you're creating that it's not a shared experience with that person and so it's like you're putting them on the pedestal even when you know that it still happens it still happens okay so um we're gonna get some allays in this area and actually, I think I think this is kind of it. Now, oh, no, no, no. We need to figure out. Okay, let's go look uh, up top. We need to figure out how we're going to set up something here. It's kind of important. Uh, let's see. So when we did this here, we did it with the hopper minecart. I might be smart just to do it that way again. But I sort of wanted to avoid using a hopper minecart. If it's not there, I have a feeling that the allays will pick up... Uh, pick up things off the top here again. Let's do some experiments. Um, yeah, let's go experiment. Cat says, what are we doing? We're, we're setting up a collection area for a farm. I think I want to experiment a little bit here because I've... Uh, ooh, I love that little tooltip there. That's beautiful. I want to get this right. So we need an allay. Uh, we'll even have it pick up slime. So a lay with slime, we've got our note block clock, and we just want to kind of see what happens, really. Okay, so like, there's that. Uh... And what happens when it drops it on the very top of the note block? Can you do that for me, LA? In fact, if I leave some on the top as well, that might help us experiment a little bit here. I think this thing's going to be just in a, like, perpetual state of... Uh trying to solve this problem because now that they're on there it's got to pick it up again then some drop off the side i i think you can leave them on and eventually they'll get they'll get some will go off the edges won't they it's just that a few of them are going to stay on the middle oh and there you go then they all went off there's also this issue of them like coming out a little further than i would like Okay, let's uh, let's ex let's keep this experiment going. I want to put I want to put some blocks in particular places. Ah, well, that's not fun, is it? Yeah, this is what I want to do. By the way, our hopper chain. I don't want to put the hoppers in. Because I'll, I want to sort of visualize where the slime blocks land without losing them all. Is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do. Ah. Getting in the way, buddy. And then this one over here. Now, 
Now remember that we're going to have a ceiling at this level here, if I'm not mistaken. So like, how do, do they get dumb now? Is that what they're going to do? They're just going to get, ooh. Pressing the wrong button here. Is that making the LA's dumb? I'm not sure that it is. Okay, I'm going to drink some uh, coffee now. I think this might help our cause a little bit. Guys, where are you going? There's slimes on the ground. Why'd they give up on it? Is it because I left the area or something? Oh no, they come back, they come back. I think that's going to work. I think that right there is going to work. That, that satisfies me. New X quote. Is that making the LA's dumb? <laughs> ah, look at this. Not exactly the right height. But if I wanted to, I can just move this up by one block, can't I? That's the approach we're going to take. I will make my own way out of here. No block ended up in here, yep. Going to need a, a chain of hoppers, aren't I? To bring them to a chest, and then later on we move that into an auto-crafter, yada yada yada. Um, is that the middle? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and then put all of these in place. X, I'm glad I stayed up late now. I've caught you live. I'm going to say it again, aren't I? Don't neglect your sleep, man. Sleep's super important. Oh, gosh. I hate being... I hate being the reason people are staying up late. <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> Take it easy, X. Jeez. Uh, hey, I wonder if X has seen the goat horns of the hermit voices on. I have. They're awesome. They're awesome. There isn't like a, a greenish trapdoor, really, is there? How many of these do we need? Like, 12? Yeah, 12. Well, that'll do kindly. Thank you. So we want to put them um, on this block, facing inwards. Or so I thought. Ah! Ah! Can't change him. I ain't holding shift. So that, to me, looks like it's going to work. By the way, I was I was thinking of abandoning this idea because I can think of lots of things that would go wrong with it. But then I decided, well, why don't we just do it like a test and see where we end up, right? So this is actually like a bit of a test run for us. We're just rolling with this concept and seeing what happens, basically. Now you know why we went to the Never for more of these blocks, eh? And that, that's it. Like, that's all we need. Just got to get the LA's in here, right? Oh, oxidized copper trapdoor. I could have, yeah. I, like, if this farm works and I continue to um, embrace the aesthetic and decorate and stuff, then yeah, something like that would uh, probably be a decent idea. Okie doke. Um, Got to go get LA's next, right? So that means we need some leads and some slime balls. And some Amethyst stuff, right? To breed them. And a record for the jukebox. Wow, my brain seems to be thinking things through today. This is a pleasant surprise. I think I can remember which one the Amethyst stuff is. Isn't it brewing? Yeah, it's like oddly grouped with brewing. I 
think we're gonna bring four of them down here. Numative Live, thank you so much for your Prime subscription. Thank you for using that on me. I appreciate it and hope you're uh, entertained, enjoying the stream and having a good time. Thank you, my dude. Okay, and that's pretty much the bulk of our inventory there. You can breed a lace, is why? Yeah, yeah, you can breed them. I'll show you how. Okay, let's go uh, drop these things off. Up we go. Whew. Hey X, haven't caught one of your streams since I, uh, since the COVID of all things. It feels so nostalgic right now. During that time, your streams and those conversations played a big part in keeping my sanity together. So I just want to say thank you for being such an awesome dude. Hey, thank you for the nice message and uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's go grab those slimes. Oh, didn't I like... I, the ones that we had up here were like crafted into slime blocks. So there's some in my redstone box. Um, yeah, I think we'll just have to get them out of there. And that should do me. Oh yeah, my helmet. My helmet. I didn't change it back. Good stuff, good stuff. I want to drink a bit more of this, uh, this drink right here. Love the new Shulkers with the redstone, brewing stand, etc. What kind of mod is it? It's the uh, Shulker Plus mod by Isco85, and I've got some custom textures on them. Mm, oh my god, that's so good. So good. See, now we're hitting that perfect temperature. This one stayed really warm today. Asuma ASMR. Yeah, listen to Asuma drink coffee. That's it. Mm. By the way, I stopped drinking coffee with caffeine like quite some time ago. Last time I drank some, it gave me the jitters. Like, I didn't like it. It's like a bit anxiety-inducing. And I think, like, uh, I think I'm going to become a non-coffee, uh, non-caffeine person again, just because I don't think it really benefits my workouts that much. Um, and, and, and I can get the jitters. I, I put it down to, like, having a lower, uh, sorry, a higher resting heart rate just because I haven't been running for a while. But um, I thought I had a bag of this special like decaf stuff in my cupboard. And I went to use it and realized that it wasn't. It was actually just caffeinated coffee beans. So I was like, well, I've got to use it eventually. Go on then. I'll, I'll, I'll have a try. And since I've had three cups of this stuff, not on the same day, just one cup a day. And I've been absolutely fine. Oh my god, I, th I literally for a split second thought that was a creeper. Oh, do you know what? I wanted to breed four, but we got the cooldown, so we're only going to get two. Oh, and I forgot to bring a record. I was on it. I was on it, and then it, you know, just one thing slipped my mind. Okay, let's go and just use a rocket. But the, the thing with caffeine is that it is, it is a pretty, like, addictive. Is that the substance? Is it the person, the personality, yada, yada, yada? I, I think caffeine is just... I don't know, such a, like there's such a strong resonance that you can have with it, that I think I'd rather n in no way like be dependent on it. And although I think I'm like that, it's just easier not to consume it. So like after I'm done with this bag, I think I'm going to go, oh look, there's where we put the slimes. I think I'm going to go back to um, just not consuming it basically. Right, there we go. I can't drink coffee. It's the worst trigger for my acid reflux. I love coffee uh, back then, says Sewell. Do you drink a lot of water? Just, uh, just a question. Like, I find the coffee I have in the morning that I brew myself, 
I find if I haven't drinking, drunk a lot of water, it doesn't sit very well in my stomach. It doesn't give me reflexes, but sometimes it's a bit yuck. Black Widow uh, Dip says, I only consume it to compensate for bad sleep. So like maybe one time per month or so. I mean, once a month's probably fine, right? <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Uh, cats doesn't drink it because you've got a heart condition. Ever, I, get, I imagine that's very wise not to. If so, yeah. Okay, now we can duplicate them. And these two new ones will be mine. We're going to give them slime balls, which I just realized, like, I'm supposed to have more slime balls to throw around. So, whoopsie daisy. This is where I need just basically, like, quite a lot. And in theory, we should be getting a lot more once this farm gets running, so... Alright, bring them over here, leash them. Where's the other one? Don't tell me it already escaped. Dude, where'd the other one go? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you are. Hi. Don't know what I was looking at now. That's it. That's it. Come with me, fellas. They just, they, they'll get caught behind stuff if you're not careful. Come on. So you can, you can pull them with the lead, but if they're caught on something, then it's not good. It's like when we go up a hill, like here, you, you need to get them to fly over, really. At least that's the way I've experienced it. I drink water for the first hour and limit myself to three cups or less. It's making me hyper. Rehydrating in the morning is important, so I made it a challenge. Yeah, I, uh, I like to drink lots of liquid in the morning, which reminds me because it's a morning stream, I got some water with me. <sighs> uh, Geordie Man says, like, my stepdad legitly needs coffee in the morning, otherwise he's useless. I can go days without it and I don't feel the need to have it. Yeah, the whole, like, unless there's like an actual medical reason, the whole I can't get going without coffee thing, it's really just like... I, I believe that Okay, some people are obviously ruled out for medical reasons when it comes to like health and fitness and stuff. But I think, you know, keeping a healthy body and regular exercise and stuff, like it helps maintain your energy levels and and whatnot. And I, I, I think you can just kind of trick yourself into believing that there's something wrong with you or whatever and you need coffee and... I know I don't need it, and I have a very active and healthy lifestyle, and I believe that is the reason why, you know? Um... Okay, what's going on here? Like, if you have energy problems, and you don't exercise, it's probably why. Like, as someone who puts hours into exercise every day, at the end of the day, I've got tons of energy. I go to bed, and before I go to bed, if I wanted to, I could run for an hour, like... Energy, like, creating energy isn't a problem, but if you have a lethargic lifestyle, it becomes a problem, right? I think there's this misconception sometimes that, you know, if you exercise a lot, you're going to be knackered or something. But it's really about, like, conditioning your body. Oh my, these two are annoying me. I need to throw these on the ground. That's the next step. There we go. Getting them down there is an interesting proposition. I think I need to get you guys into the basement, actually. Let's go down. Down to the promenade. Odo will be waiting for us. All right, let's break uh, this bit. Are you in here with me? What's going on? Go on, get inside, buddy. If exercise don't work, consider getting some blood tests and checking your general health. Yeah, and when we say, like, you know, trying exercise, does that work? It's not something you can just do for a week. You know, you have to condition your body over a, a period of time. Get in here! Get in here! 
Get in here. I just worry that people end up like giving themselves excuses, excuses for this stuff. Uh, whereas it could be incredibly liberating to, you know, change your lifestyle and uh, get on top of this stuff. Oh, I can't go without a coffee in the morning too. If I don't like a coffee by noon, I get headaches and I also get a little dizzy. It's been like that for years, both during times where I was very active and times where I was not, says Georgie. Did you ever cut out the coffee though for a consistent period of time? Because I've heard people say that before about getting headaches and for me it's like, that's, that's a sign of like substance dependency. Like you're getting headaches from withdrawal right like if like i think sometimes we forget that caffeine is a very potent drug we don't think of it like the way people think about drugs i think is really quite curious because of how like demonized a lot of it has been i think it sort of distorts how we tend to think about what drugs are and stuff a lot of the time it's like what are you doing get over here my god there we go goodness me it's so annoying That's better. That's better. Right. That's way better. Okay, so you can see we're at like the cave area here now. We just want to... Uh, I think we can kind of go down into where the hoppers are. Yeah, they're with me. They're with me. Psychedelic drugs are very interesting in my opinion, says Brito. Oh, deeply fascinating. I, I don't think I'll ever do psychedelic drugs. Um, just because of my own personal problem with drugs. In general. Like, uh, what's the one that fascinates me the most called? Uh, DMT? Like, it's produced inside of the human body anyway. Get over here! Get over here! It's produced inside of the human body and the way people describe like their experiences with it this sort of universality to it is deeply fascinating um but i i just i just know i think in general this is a bad idea for someone like me Some of y'all in chat are talking about being addicted to sugar and Diet Coke and Mountain Dew and all this stuff. That's fascinating. And having headaches from withdrawals from Diet Coke. That's crazy. Ah, someone in chat says Diet Coke is also caffeinated. Yeah. So like... <laughs> have I considered transcendental meditation instead of DMT? I've done meditation in the past. I, I, I just... I know something like the spell of it broke a little bit for me. Not transcendental. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things I feel like I might get back to at some point. But I had a good streak a while ago, like years ago now, with meditation, and then then I sort of broke the habit, and it's never really like come back since. Right, I got to leave these fellas in there. The note block should be playing a note, but it's not because of that. Oh, that was a good spot. That was a good spot. <laughs> Pancake Foxy Pan says AFK for five minutes and uh, what? Well, we got the LAs. We did that. Hi. I feel like that might be my thumbnail. <laughs> uh, Mika the Magpie, thank you so much for your Prime subscription. Very much appreciate you using that on me. Thank you. Yeah, like, I, I don't think. I think Transcendental. Meditation. Um, it's not just something you can... Oh, I'll give that a try then. Like, that's that's got to take years of dedicated focus. And I just don't feel like I have the capacity for that. Obviously, I could. I could choose to and stick to it. But there's other things I want to do with my time. Um, yeah, until I guess something clicks in my head. And I'm like, oh, actually, I want to prioritize that. Which could happen. I might want to get back into meditating at some point. But what am I thinking? My brain's like 
my brain's like trying to tell me to do something in this area. Because <laughs> I'm talking about other things, I just slow down. It's this. It's telling me to just do that. All right. Now, the my worry with this farm is that the LAs will fly away from this spot, but... You know, so far so good. And now, now we just need slimes to spawn. Because I'm directly on top of the farm, that's probably not going to happen. My AFK spot for the perimeter is somewhere around here. Which is probably sufficiently far enough away from the slime chunk. So now if we look around, like... There's not a lot of other places for mobs to spawn. Um, potentially, like, where I've done some building and stuff. I may have left a couple of dark patches, but hopefully not. This farm is turned off. And when it's turned off, nothing can spawn in it. So in theory, the mob cap should be pretty good right now. Me being the only player online. The slimes to spawn here, but yet we're seeing nothing, right? There could be other slime chunks that have slimes in. Got glow squids. I think I'm going to use some tools to uh, help us at this point. Looks like it's night. Oh, good point. <laughs> I'm so focused on the underground. I haven't paid attention to what's going on above. Go sleep in a bed. Chat is continuing on the conversation. Nowadays, there's good decafs coffee available for those who like coffee but don't bother with the caffeine. I mean, that's what I do. That's what I do. That style of meditation is like exercise, conditioning, time, practice. Yes, yeah, good point. If you put the player head on the note block, it will be silent, but still works on the LAs. I'm Kaji. That is like the best tip ever. I'm writing that down. That is honestly just like, thank you for sharing that. That, I need that. Uh, I'm making a note. I'm making a note. That's fantastic. Because... Like, I, I built this whole clock up the top here. Like, at some point, I want to decorate the roof, but I had to fit in this subtle little thing because I didn't want to do the typical up-down clock here. But if I put a player head right there, it takes care of it, doesn't it? Also, this thing working perfectly. Like, super happy with it. Don't know why it broke when I had the trapdoors set up like this before, but they're both still farmers. Uh, that, that bit there, look, around the edges of these hoppers, it changes. I'm not sure why. Maybe it has something to do with like the way they walk over the hopper hitbox. Maybe it causes um, them to like bop up and down and then it breaks the dirt or something. Now there could actually be slime balls in that chest. I don't know yet. Uh, there could also be creepers up on the surface that have spawned at night. Yeah, like there. There's only... I see one there. Okay, one over there. Like, that that's, shouldn't be a crazy amount in terms of the mob cap. But it might help to, like, try and reset things by flying into the sky. So we'll go do that. As someone who smoked cannabis for 15 years each day, the best thing I did was to stop. My mind has never been clearer. My body, though, decided to gain 1 kg a year. I smoked... Uh, you'll probably find that your appetite or like your relationship to food and how you feel satiated and whatnot probably changed. Like, um, there's there's lots of interesting concepts about like the body's metabolism and stuff. But um, I, I'm a calorie counter, so for me it's all very like structured and measured. And you know when I shift. The amount of calories at the end of the month when I weigh myself, I generally just see exactly what I expect. Right now, I'm bulking. I put on a little bit of weight each month. When I cut, you know, the op it goes the opposite direction. But if you do things very uh, just naturally and organically, and like something like that has led to weight gain, um, you know, it's probably changed just your your compass for like how much food you need to eat or whatever. Whatever words you want to describe that relationship, right? Dang, we are, we are not getting much going on here. It might be that the clock is a little too fast as well. Slimes might need more time. 
In fact, I think I I think I'm gonna modify the clock next. But uh, let's go. Oh, my stream deck is freaking out at the moment. <laughs> it is randomly cycling through different buttons, and then it stopped. Weird. Uh, hotkeys, mini HUD on. Let's see the slime chunks. So uh, obviously that's a slime chunk. What else have we got going on? Like if we saw some slimes in this area, then it could be a sign we need to come over here and slap these, right? Not something I'm particularly a fan of, but we're not really even seeing the slime spawns out and about. Hmm. Ah, see, like that. That's what I would have expected to see. I don't really want to go slab in slime chunks, I'll tell you that. Right, I think we're going to have to change the clock. Uh, let's turn off these things, by the way. Turn them off. The slime spawned in the farm. Oh, did you spot it? Dang, I didn't spot it. Well done. Okay, I've also got some stuff here we can put away. Do I have a spare spot in valuables? I do. I think I'm going to keep this on me. Because I always end up needing one every now and then. Usually I have something to do with a laze, you know? Oh, whoops. <sighs> That's not smart. Might accidentally break something down below. You know what? Having a connection to that area is not a bad thing, is it? As far as I can tell. Okay, might have to just... Uh, don't tell anyone, but... Hey, where's my dirt at? There we go. I'm going to do that. There we go. Uh, claim back a few blocks there. Now we've got a little ways to get into the back area here, if ever we need it. So when it comes to this, I'm going to extend it all the way out here. I believe this is the phase, this side of the redstone is the phase in which it's open. I uh, shouldn't need that, actually. Okay, uh, and then put that in. Yeah, that's the phase when it's open. So way more time for slimes to spawn now. I should have put a comparator down on the chest to see if there was any items in it. Does it make the other phase longer too, is my question. I might be mistaken here. I think it makes both phases longer. I, I thought there was a lopsidedness to this, but I might be mistaken. Like, what is the purpose of that, that bit of delay? This is basically just a flip-flop. It's just an extra bit of delay there. This is not working the way I thought it was. Um, an EFO hopper clock would be the exact same thing, I believe. Because this is just on off. All the repeat I thought it was I thought it was like a lopsided circuit. But it's not. EFO hopper clock is not a lopsided. Um I don't off the top of my head, actually I, I do know one lopsided circuit that we can make. Possibly. Let's do a little bit of redstone and see if we can rethink this clock. Hey, finally, a little bit of confirmation. And See it in action. Hello. Nice. Very nice. And they both like to just hang out there, which is really good. 
I'm glad we persisted with that because I was I convinced myself this morning this wouldn't work and that I'd do a different method. And the method I came up with was to put a T and D duper at the bottom and have them fall into water and get like sent into like a blast chamber, which sounds kind of amazing. And I think I want to do that at some point. Okay, so let's go um, over to this server and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Do a laser take damage from magma. Um, yeah, I think they would, but they don't seem to fly onto it. Uh, let's go. We can get rid of this now. Then we have a couple of allays flying around the world, so uh, not good. Hello? I keep pressing the wrong keys. Right, um... Let's see, lopsided, lopsided. What am I thinking? Okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll build this up off the ground a little bit. Always a good idea. Okay, um... Maybe something like this? Uh, might need a little additional redstone. No, that doesn't do it. Um, that does. I think if I just swap those around. This isn't actually, this isn't lopsided either. Because this is, this is just like a clock, right? Uh, I'm not sure if this would slow it down. Also then the torch is, yeah, not in the right spot. How do we make it lopsided? I'm, oh, I'm trying to think. Why not make a delay then pulse it twice, says uh, Espelajet. Because then, then you're just using a clock to power another clock, right? Which is maybe exactly the way you're supposed to do it. Um, so if we if we just think back to something we saw earlier, I, I really wish I could make this off of memory, but every time I uh, fail. Deadly Panda 66, thank you for your two months of support, my dude. Much appreciated. Thank you for supporting the channel here. If we go back to this one up here, Right, I always struggle to build that from memory. Like, I really wish I could just remember this one. Let's go over here. And basically start again. So we want... Um, some hoppers involved. Can I... How do I, like... I want to just jump to redstone, but... Can't. We'll just put a hopper there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put in some items here. Doing that on the wrong side. Let's go this way. Oh, wait. Like that. Did I did I miss something here? In theory, I didn't. 
Or, or does one of these only supposed to have one? Is that the idea? This is interesting. Because these two are on. And then they both turn off. But that one turns on later. I feel like there might be something to this. I kind of I kind of want them to power the same thing. Does this one match that one? It should match that one, right? Yeah, of course it does. So Oh, and actually that means that that one there is this one here. Okay, so don't need any extra components. Uh, that might be all I need. Let's go... Sticky Piston. Does it... I think... I think they're so close to each other that, yeah, it does that. Oh, interesting. This is gonna, like... This is gonna create a unique little output. So that could be the on-off bit. And then it leaves it there. So now it's off. Then it leaves it there again. Unless that gets powered. Which it might do. Let's check it out. This might... this might, We might have accidentally made a lopsided circuit. Well, I was trying to. Just not the way I thought it would. So then it's going to drop it back again. So that can be the on-off time. Now I think it might get powered again here. Yeah, it does. Okay, so probably not. Right, I think I want to go back to looking at these individually. Yeah, even even now, I, I'm getting this feeling like you're probably always going to go back to one timer controlling the other. Hmm. So maybe we just take this and feed it into this one. Although I have this weird... Isn't there a way to make this decay even slower? Because that's, that's not enough for uh, what we want. I'm going to switch to standing. I've been sat for a while now. Peeps, are y'all enjoying the stream? Be sure to hit the... Uh... Follow button here on Twitch. Catch my future streams. Tuesday is my next planned one. What about the strength of a signal when it's pushed out? Uh, the strength of the signal would be 15. Lucro says more comparators. When you add more comparators, the signal strength has to have a longer time going into it, right? To activate the circuit. Uh, this is very crude. Oh, it has a signal strength of one. Huh. Oh yeah, and then it's like most of the time that's on. That's not what I want. Um... Okay, then this will give us a problem. Is four ticks enough is sort of the question. Oh, it kind of it very nearly almost is. Very nearly almost. Oh, that'll back power, won't it? Uh... That, that looked like it kind of got it. With a bit of blinking. Okay, let's see if we can uh, make this a little better. 
don't know how much more time I want to add to it, really. Let's get rid of these as well. They're making lots of noise. And it's all off. Ah, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Timer for slime, water release. Are you just saying what we're doing? Watching this reminds me of Sefling showing how his contraption works. Sefling is a, a like really good at explaining how stuff works. Ooh, that, that, that made it do something funky, didn't it? We don't want that kind of funkiness. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna sit on this idea. Like I I, I do that kind of stuff better when I'm not streaming. Maybe not by much, but I definitely do it better. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to come back to the idea. Because it's really helpful just to sit down and think through all the different redstone concepts. And then like, you generally like, I, I find I remind myself of something and it's like, oh yeah, of course. And then, then, then you're on the right track. Whereas if I'm streaming, I don't really like step into that space very well. So um, we'll leave it. We'll go do the other thing that I had planned for today. I uh, just need to clean up the inventory a tiny amount, I think. We'll leave this running, though. One thing I wanted to do, actually, was just uh, get a little replay of the... the fellas in action down there. If I can. King Spider, all capital letters, says, Oh my god, Asuma read my comment. I feel special. Oh, do you want to know how special you are, my friend? Just think how many hours of live streaming I've done. How many comments I have read? More than the stars in the universe. Oh, do you feel insignificant now? Do you feel insignificant? Comments. I read so many of them. Gosh. Becca11. Thank you so much for 42 months. Ah, 42. So once you know what the question actually is, you'll know what the answer means. Douglas Adams. Thank you, Becca. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. Let me get logged into Hermitcraft here. I think my... Uh... I think this thing... Yeah, there we go. It's logged in. So, Land Dixon says, I almost cried when you noticed me. Why, though? I, I'm, I, I make jokes and stuff about this stuff, but I am concerned about like the parasocial relationships and whatnot. Anyway, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm not that important, trust me. I just want to catch a slime now. I'm looking from my uh, other account. It's probably not very helpful. Oh, Grian's online. That might drastically now slow down the race. Drastically slow it down, I say. I think what I'll do is I'll leave it logged in and... Oh, wait, no, we just got some slimes. Excellent. It's a big one. I know you can't see this because I haven't set it up, but... Uh... This is some good... Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Oh, and another one. Nice. Okay, I'm actually getting some spawns. So, uh... I'll leave it running for a minute or two. But I've got some action here. That's really good. That one didn't drop any slimes. That's very odd. Alright, that's actually all I'm going to do for now. Okay. Okay. Kank says, if a streamer reads my name, I feel a bit like I'm called out in class. Kank, come to the front of the room. Immediately. No. Okay. Uh... We're going to... Right, we're going to go do the Wolves of Wall Street now. We need to get some wolves, basically. Oh, it's andesite. Uh, dirt goes in here. Those things go in there. 
We need some rockets where we're going. Which gives me an amazing opportunity right now. Do you know what that opportunity is? I'm going to cry if you don't. I'm going to cry. Brewing! Hopefully I will solidify the connection between Amethyst and Brewing as time passes. Okay, we're going to go over here. Because we need to fly. Oh wait, let's get some bones too quickly before we go. There'll be some bones somewhere around here, won't there? Hey, I probably don't need more than that actually. But I'll take a few more just in case. I have I've definitely not thought about what we need to do here, but I'm gonna roll with it. Like we've got bones, I know we need that. I don't think it's too much more complicated. Hey. Get me a little top up. Don't mind if I do. Right, and we're gonna fly in Ah this direction. Because I once saw some wolves over here a long time ago when I was on my horseback looking for a lush cave. I think when I ventured out here before, I didn't have Bobby mod. I don't know why that is there, but I'm very tempted to take it down. Because <laughs> it looks kind of ugly. Ugly. Yeah, it was this area here that I once saw a bunch of wolves when I was traversing on my horse. So I figured this might be a good place to start. What's this? What's that? Someone's been chopping down trees, chicken, sheep, and... Hey, buddy, 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 buddy! Woo! Hi. Oh, you're immediately my friend. I love it. Dang. We've got a rabbit over there. Right, now we need to seek out another one. Come on, buddy. Oh, these guys teleport to you. So you can just keep going. So we can uh, make this a little more pain-free, I guess. What happens if I, like, use my rocket to fly back? Where do they go when they teleport? Do they, like, teleport in the sky with me? That would be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? What do I need wolves for? I need wolves for all straight. Oh, I should get, like, 16 of them. I didn't know how many I'd want, but now I know I want 16. For reasons. Chat, I bet, I bet you can't figure it out. It's like a cryptic code that'll take a millennium to figure out why I want 16 for uh, for the Wolves of Wall Street. Dang. This is going to be a tough cookie to crack. You know, put your heads together, chat. Go oh, for each color. So oh, for each color, says John Scrove. Well, Joe, you're either a genius or it's very obvious. Dang it. Dang it. Other people have already figured it out. Well, I thought I was brain smarts. So maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not brain smarts after all. I want to jump! Okay. That's you, buddy. That's you woofing at me. I think we're going to need to sleep. Yep, I hear you. I hear you, buddy. So what do they need? What do they need um, in terms of food? Isn't it steak and cooked steak? Because I have a, I have a cow farm... And we could use that to get a whole bunch of meat. In fact, I think I've already got like stacks of it at my base. So stacks of meat that I'm not going to use. And then we could use it to breed them. And I think I think pretty much everything now has that like speed up the breeding process. Oh, they eat rotted flesh. So can we use rotted flesh to speed up the uh, breeding process too? We might actually have a use for rotted chest. Uh, rotted chests? God, you know the words I'm trying to say, chat. Dude, we got like immediately lucky and then nothing. Come on, there's got to be like a pack of wolves. Maybe they, maybe I've got the wrong, hey, there we go, there we go. Noise. Noise. Let's try and get four. And then we can multiply them into six. And then six into twelve. Twelve into twenty-four. And then I'll have too many. I'll have to cull the herd and everyone will call me a monster. Jeez. Let's 
try uh, having a scout. Of... Oh, okay, mob farm. At first, I was like, "What is that thing up there?" Then it's my. I bet Jevin built that. <laughs> that looks like a Jevin mob farm. I'm telling you now. Are they eating the sheep? No. I think they do that when they're wild. I think I might go back to the tiger biome, actually. X, how do you feel about me sarcastically being mean? Because I, I won't if it makes you uncomfy. Uh, do whatever you got to do. I'm fine with it. Oof. Looking for some hitboxes. Well, this area just seems a bit cleared out, doesn't it? Until we get to here. Aha! You good, sir, are joining the pack. Where is the rest of the pack? Slightly grey wolf? Where the rest of the... Got a new pack of friends. They should have teleported to me, right? And another one. And another one. This is how you get rooted dirt right here. Right, now we've got four. But where are the rest? Chunks unloaded. Uh, you know what they might have done, actually? They might have unloaded. Because I'm, I'm whizzing around a bit fast. And I do have that mod on that extends the range. But that doesn't mean it's actually loaded. So, uh, I guess we're going to traverse back. So, when I was flying and I was in the sky, they weren't teleporting to me, were they? They don't teleport to you when you're in the sky, I think. Well, we've, got, we've potentially got to go back a long way then. Yeah, because these lot are all with me. That's good. So, like, here they are. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to, like, fly close to the water. Nothing. As far as I can tell. And then when I hit the lands, right, there they all are. So, they, they won't teleport to water. That's... Might seem obvious, but it's good to good to find out. And now we just go this way until the pack gets significantly larger. So I guess I'm travelling back on foot. Hey X, do you ever read books? I listen to books. I can't read books. They uh, give me a headache. And the book I'm currently listening to, I'm heavily addicted to and the only reason i didn't listen to it this morning is because uh lex friedman posted a podcast of andrew callahan there's two people i've wanted to hear talk to each other for some time and i've been listening to that this morning while i've been uh cooking and uh cleaning and clothes washing yada 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 good interview so far really good interview hey buddy Right, the gang is growing. I'm starting to wonder now if we're near the area where we laugh less them laugh less them or not. It felt like it was all the way over here that I flew away. But I could deem it Oh now the gang. Now the gang That's the gang. That's the homies. Check out the homies. Oh, you're not a homie. No, you are a homie. Sorry. Getting overly excited. Right, we better head back on foot then. Oh, we're bringing the wolves of Wall Street. I, feel, I really feel like I want to record a clip for my video. Rather than just turn up with them. Here's another thing we can do. We can, like, do it in bursts. Ooh. That was fun. Okay. I think I want to record a clip about here. 
Yes, that will make a really dramatic little entrance. Let's pause our music. Uh, here it is. Pause it. Pause it. Pause the music. Get it? Because, because otherwise the music will still be playing in my ears when I'm recording and I don't want that. Got it? Did you understand? Did you get the joke? Because, because sounds in my... Pause the mute. You know? Oh, you don't get it, do you, chat? You just don't get it. Jeez. You just don't get it. Uh, let me start up this recording. Oh, I need to get rid of the bones. So, my friends, I've been out and about exploring the wild, looking for some friends to bring to Wall Street. Aha! It is the wolves of Wall Street. And we don't have 16 of them yet. I definitely want to get 16, so there might be some breeding involved here soon. But look at this. Glorious. Did not take me long at all, just roaming through the forest and the taiga with some bones. And using teleportation to my advantage. Just uh, fly a little distance, not too far. Land gracefully, and they shall teleport to thee. See, that made for a nice clip, didn't it? Okay, we'll, we'll park these lot at Wall Street. Ooh! I think there might be some expansion happening over here. Still got the gang, still got the gang. We'll park them at Wall Street. Woo. And then I'm going to go get some rotted flesh. Okay, then to here. Oh, signs. False. Wait, does that mean... Also false. Does that mean it's not really a sign? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Jeez. Uh, then we go over to Wall Street. Nice. Okay, so like one, a bat, two, three, four, come here, five, six, seven. That sounds about right. It felt like we got about seven of them. No, wait, eight, eight. We got eight. Whew. Okay. Um, I th I should probably read the wiki for a quick second because I keep doing stuff in this game, like. Like, winging it, and I've learned recently, yes, I've played the game for a long time. No, my memory's not great. There's just so much to remember in this game. Used to know it all because there wasn't actually as much to know, right? So I want to look it up, and wolves. Rotted flesh can be used to breed and heal tamed wolves. Well, that's perfect. Lead them around and make baby tamed wolves grow up 10% faster the remaining time. Excellent. That is the perfect little bit of information for me. I also have n huh. Okay. I also have no idea. Zilch. I have zilch idea. What I last said when I was recording. That always bugs me because I, I really don't like a stiff transition. I think all I've got to say is the wolves are here and yada yada yada. But uh, anyway, we're going to go down. I'm going to grab a shulker box first. Yes. Okay. I think I know. I think I know how I'm going to make this transition. I'm going to. I'm going to base it on the fact that I don't remember what I last said, which is perfect. Where's my Where's my empty ones? Did I take them all? Am I getting through these shulker boxes that fast? All the empty ones are got. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Time to make another. There it is. There it is. Uh, one of those. Thank you very much. Okay, I know what's going next in this clip.
Oh, we've got the sound of that note block, which is kind of annoying. Then suddenly, we're in the deep, dark underground to get our hands on the most useless item in this game. Oh, it's good to come back to this place with a little bit of purpose, too. What is often cited as being extremely useless in this game? Rotted flesh. Aha, uh -huh, but I now have a use for this stuff. So I filled up one whole shulker box. Probably don't actually need that much, but it's nice to know that I've got plenty of this stuff about. All right, cool. Yeah, definitely didn't need that much, but I'm just, I'll just fill up a box, you know. Then I know I'm definitely not going to have too little. Riff Raff says I love this place. I love it too. I, I am evolving as a builder, I think. I think I'm really trying to do it and it's happening. And that little build that we did down there really gave me like a lot of uh, a lot of food for thought when it comes to building. And we're in, we're in a little bit of a phase right now where we got some technical builds to do and stuff. But once we're over the hump of the storage system, I really feel like there's so many opportunities to lean into building. Um, and I might I might go build like another base at some point. But yeah, no, definitely just learning some important things this season and starting to figure out how I'm going to be a better builder and I I'm loving that process <laughs> but I'm also you know doing my typical projects and so it's a balancing act so what's the last thing I said I think it was just like oh I've got a full shulker box like more than enough basically so according to the wiki this stuff can be used to breed up wolves As well as healing them, and I don't think any of these have actually taken any damage. But the key thing I was interested in, and why I brought so many, is because of the time aspect. In this game, you can obviously breed up the speeding. Breed up the speeding? Let's see, we embrace it here. Speed up the breeding. Speed up the breeding! Get your words right, X! So, let's say... Uh, hang on, right. So, 16 colours of wolves, 16 wolves, we've got 8 so far, we need to breed them up. And, you know, I want to do that as swiftly as possible. So, each time I feed this baby one, it's going to speed up the breeding pro- Where are you going, dude? It's going to speed up the breeding process by 10%. No, wait. Is the wiki wrong? Can I not actually do this? Who, who left the door open? I, I, I gotta tame you first. No, no, you're already tamed. What was... Is the wiki wrong? I think the wiki's wrong. There you go. I think the wiki's wrong. That's the conclusion of that. Might have to do this the slow way then. Dang. Wait, no, no. Are we feeding it? We're only... No, look, its tail just goes up and down. I can't shift click it. You would see particle effects, right? Bedrock feature question mark. Who who puts a derp face after I've consulted the wiki? Like, who does that? Who is that? Rambling PJ, you are the what? <gasps> it worked. It worked. Oh, chat, you've enlightened me. Okay. Okay, let's let's uh, continue recording this clip because this is good. This is good stuff. Oh, I have become enlightened by the powers of observation but not my own powers because i'm actually streaming while i'm recording this clip which is confusing because you're watching the video that means this was recorded in the past and the past is now your present i was not looking at my hot bar so even though the tail goes up and down we are consuming rotted flesh yes i will continue to click on to you until you are an adult. Remember, it's 10% each time, so it's like diminishing returns. So you do need a little bit of time at some point. Anyway, this guy should pretty much grow up into an adult any moment now. Hey, and there it is. Wonderful. Right, I think that's, uh, I think that's me done with my clip recording for now.
I will go put that in the appropriate folder, resume the music. If we have time, I will probably put in an extra clip as well. Uh, right, let me go find... While I'm doing this file transfer stuff, peeps, it would be amazing if you took the time to check out my music, Soulside Eclipse, if you have heard me bang on about it before, I apologize. I do it so much, it must become quite annoying. But for those of you uh, that are new here, Soulside Eclipse, Apple Music, Spotify, Bandcamp, YouTube, these are all places you can find it. Um, I'm just going to add a note for the uh, Wolves clip. Got that bit done today. And uh, my friends, I'm just going to nip to the loo right now. So I'm going to log out of the game in case anything happens to our wolves. I will nip to the toilet. And uh, run an ad while I do that. So uh, I'll, I will be right back. As they say. I am back. I hope you survived without me. Oh. Jeez, that must have been difficult, chat. Must have been difficult. 1,500 of you tuned in. Tuned in. On a Sunday morning. Thank you for your spending your morning with me. Appreciate it. If you'd be so kind as to hit that follow button, you can catch my future live streams. Thank you for doing that. Um, I think what I'm going to do, by the way, is just thinking about like what's next. I want to put the wolves on top of the barrels, I think, but that might be a bit of a pain. Let's get y'all sitting down. So if we get them all into position first and then die them, that would be pretty, pretty good way of doing it. Um, but we do need to get enough. And since the breeding process is kind of quick, it doesn't really matter what order we're doing in it. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10. So we had 8 and we bred 2. So that's really good. Okay, so just grab like a bunch more rotted flesh. Um, we might have an issue with the breeding cooldown on a couple of these actually. Okay, gonna... So who's been bred and who hasn't? Well, you two haven't. So that'll, that'll work out just fine. If you would sit... Dude, Squiddy bad at playing this game. Oh, free ink sacks. Thank you. Dog cult. Yo, loads of y'all are saying. It's the dog cult. Buddy, where are you going? You haven't consumed the full amount yet. Alright, and then it'll, then it'll be seconds of bump. So I think I'll leave you there. Also, if I'm going to struggle to breed them, the new ones will be able to breed, I'm pretty sure. But, so far, no worries. Uh, go to your friend, maybe? Oh my god, it's like they've become one joined at the head creature for a split second. Don't run anywhere, buddy. We started a cult while you were gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I generally do that when people leave the room. Quick, let's start a cult. They'll never know. Yeah, so did these ones did we do you a second ago? No. Y'all are good. Hey, maybe it's been more than five minutes as well. Like, we've been recording and... I'm trying to get away. Oh, trying to get away. Red Dog would be jealous. Oh. 
This will be the third one we've just done. Like, I should really keep count. I think that means we've got three more to do. Hey! Hey! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, okay. But who's next to breathe? That's, that's the thing. Nope. Yep, you can. So come with me. You can't. Should be another new one somewhere that can. There you go. Are they gonna? They did. Excellent. This is number 14. Oi! No, I don't want to eat. This guy does. If Ren has a wall permit, you should join the cult. Yes, he could. Apparently, Joe is annoyed because... Uh... Oh! Someone went for the price. Hey, the people are going for the price! Apparently, Joe wanted to charge more. Which, that I mean, he can. I just thought... I was a little surprised, you know. But hey, it's working. I can't remember. That's my one, isn't it? Grey wall is me. I could actually, uh, I could actually technically stock these up if the the other place has been open for long enough. Dang, I, it's a good thing I did this then because some of these walls weren't available. So we have done our uh, due diligence there. Right for the next two, I think we're going to run out of candidates. Well, apparently I just found a couple of candidates, so maybe not. Ah, come here, come here. Right, let's get you sitting so I can eat and then use the rest. We need just one more after this one. Everyone in chat is talking about the cult. Uh, a diamond block for four stacks. I can't tell if that's a bargain or if it's too expensive. I mean, one, one for one used to be the price, but considering that diamond generation doubled... It's, you know, it's pretty much about right, I think. It, it, honestly, it, maybe it could be more expensive, but uh, I think we need to see how the economy develops. Because some people are making more diamonds than others. That's that's the other thing with, like, the permit system, is that it's, in some way, it's sort of put, like, a, an, a, an, an expected income into each person's hands based on what permits they've got, right? Okay, um... Just uh, try until we get lucky, I think. Might have to wait five minutes. Let's, uh, let's maybe... Hmm, if I start shuffling them around... Oh, there we go. I think those were the first two to breed then. If we start shuffling them around, we run into that problem of, like... When they're ready to breed, like, most of them have been put into place. Look at that guy shaking his butt. Showing off his moves. Hey. Good stuff. And you're sitting. Right, so now they're all ready to be pushed into position. Getting them to follow me into here would be nice. Then we want a slab behind each barrel to nudge them up. I think that'll probably be like a temporary slab. Um, so anything will do, really, if it's temp. Oh, that's the wrong spot. The dogs are the shopkeeps. Yeah, they are. They are, my friends, they are. All right. Do you know what I ate yesterday? I that this is just this is like just totally jumping into a conversation, completely random, out of the blue, that kind of thing. Um, yesterday I ate something that I have not eaten. I think in over. Oh, sixteen years, seventeen years. I had a fast food hamburger. <gasps> oh, X. 
What is wrong with you? It wasn't a McDonald's. I didn't stoop that low, please. Uh, but I had a Burger King burger. <laughs> oh, I haven't had one of these in so long. So long. And do you know what was weird? It tasted just like I remembered. Like, the bread was kind of the same. The cheese. Maybe some of the meat was a bit different. But, like, I was... Yeah, I was a little bit... Ah, oh, perfect. There might be some, like... There might be a block or combination of blocks where we can get their like alignment even more perfect. But we're just going to do that for now. Do wolves go on leads? They do, and that might be a useful way to uh, to do this. Anyway, I, you know, I liked, uh, I liked it. It was all right. But the thing that I didn't like about it was exactly what I expected. It doesn't make you feel satiated. Like, it just made me feel more hungry after I ate it. And that's the way they're made, you know? Those McDonald's meals are not not trying to make you feel, you know, full and proper. They want you to come back and eat more. Um, so, you know, it was all right. But yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't overly impressed. I wasn't like, I'm going to go eat Burger King now or whatever. Um, the chips tasted fantastic, though. The chips were really nice. They're just, oh, I don't know how they do it. They again still just like tasted like what I remember as a kid. They just they just have a little something in them that's different and uh, give it a little bit of a particular kind of taste. There we go. I think I might nudge you, smidge that way, a smidge that way. Beautiful, beautiful. I've never had Burger King, to be honest, as human portals. It's uh, it's all right. I think I think what I've learned to appreciate with it is that it's like it's reliable. Like if you know what you're gonna get, you'll get it everywhere. That's the point. Like they always taste the same wherever you go, right? I used to think that as a, a bit of a I don't know, not a good thing. But I guess if you just want to have a meal and um, know exactly what you're getting, it can be good from that perspective, right? Apparently, only where I live has chicken salt, which you put on chips. Can anyone confirm? Uh, I can't because I don't live in Australia. Is he going to dye their collars? Yeah, that's the final step. That's like the final step right there. This is this is so like a uh, so unlike me project as well. I never mess around with pets in this game, so it's kind of kind of cool to bring them here. Uh, I think it's not because it's not only potatoes, ingredients, potatoes, vegetable oil, canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, and then a whole bunch of other stuff listed too. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's what really makes or breaks some good chips. Like uh, eating at a local restaurant, the chips are a bit hit and miss actually. Like sometimes they're really just right. Kind of kind of crunchy, tasty, all that stuff. Like um, they're really nice. But then sometimes not. It's like, oh, why is it, why why is this batch today not as good as the others? I don't know, but what I do know is that I think what really makes chips kind of uh, pop or not is like the oil that you cook them in, right? Because I make chips at home, but I don't I don't coat them in oil. I just put them straight in the oven with salt and pepper, and um, you can really like taste the lack of oil compared to those, you know, fast food chips, and and then the difference between the different fast food ones is like. What oil are they using tends to be it. Right, one down the end next. Uh, don't feel like nudging you the whole way. You're going to have to come with me, sir. To another dimension. Pay close attention. Right, there we go. See, now you. this one's up against the block. I will probably be okay just to do a thing here. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's not an issue, is it? I hope I put that back the right way. God, can you imagine if I got it wrong? Having those one or two blocks slightly off. Oh, criminal. I'm a criminal. Yeah, I'm a criminal. Right. Ah. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Silent Mystery says, Dang, you stream so early. My time. 7.12 a.m. Get a better time zone. Move somewhere else. Jeez. Don't blame it on me. Ugh, take some responsibility. Right, let's... Uh, what way are we going to do this? I kind of I kind of want them all to teleport closer to this. So let's go like this. Let's try it. So I sank a little different for the next side. I am going to... There is, there is a little bit of a risk of them like running around into the other ones, right? So if I go all the way over here, they're kind of like forced to come towards me. So I'm going to go up here and then land there. Aha. Uh -huh. That was pretty smart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all here. That was pretty smart, I'll say. Uh, you need you need a little nudge. He needs a little alignment. Just a little bit. That'll do. Perfect. Perfect. Why don't you keep the doggos on the slabs behind the barrels? They might they might actually look a little better on slabs behind the barrels. I got to admit that. But then it's going to be super awkward for me to nudge them from here. Maybe I could use pistons. I've got to admit, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, okay, so we we'll grab some pistons. Like, what if I do this? Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, they look so much cuter at that level, don't they? Okay, that's what we're going to do then. That's what we're going to do. That's a good suggestion. Happy to implement. to implement. Right. They've all very reliably been pushed into... Well, that was also pretty painless in terms of how long that took to do, right? Like, great suggestion. Thank you. Now, the question is, do we want to set them up the same way on the opposite side? Because I think they're, like, perfectly aligned with the front now. It looks to me, yeah, they're all like aligned perfectly. So we'll do the same method over here, I think. We'll get them up top and just nudge them onto the back. Maybe play around with snow layers to find the perfect height. I think we found the perfect height. They just, they just look adorable at that height. Okay, we want like one on each little step, really. Oh, my dog pushing skills. It's not something I knew I would need in this life, but they've uh, they've improved. <laughs> Go on, I'm a, I'm a officially a dog pusher. Sounds kind of dodgy, only a little bit. I never noticed Asuma has only one channel point reward. Says Halo Loops. Redeem today! Redeem today! Just dying for someone to, to redeem it. Oh yeah, I can't get in that way, can I? There's a little bit of uh, momentum when you do this, I've noticed. Like a momentum to it. Cool. Cool. 
nice. This is going real quick, actually. Okay. Yeah, you're you're on there. Brilliant. Okay, right. So they're all on there. They don't have to be aligned uh, perfectly front to back, but left to right, we need to get right. You might need another nudge from the front, I think. So yeah, we want them roughly central is the idea. Yeah, like that's pretty good. There's that bit. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, give you a nudge from here, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty central. Uh, you you could do one either side here. That one's good. This one here needs some attention. There you go. I think they're really well aligned. And we have all of these in place. Awesome. Ha, you need a little nudge from the front. I can see that. Ah, you're, you're going to be... This one's going to be a little bit tricky. Need to nudge it again. Ooh. A little too far over. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Put way too many redstone blocks in, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Turn off the hitboxes. That is so cute. So cute. So unbelievably cute. Okay. Uh, we need the die. The die chest next. And I'm going to record another clip. Red is already done. Do green, do cyan, light blue. Luckily, we've got enough for all of it. Let's pause that music. Let's get a roll in with this next one. Maybe with F1 on? Nah. Oh, well, my friends, would you look at that? Isn't this just the cutest, most adorable sight you've ever seen? It's almost like they're all baby wolves because they are sitting on some slabs. Did some magic with uh, pushing them around onto the barrels and then using pistons to push them over the edge. They are now like perfectly aligned with the front of this block so all of them have their mouths just kind of resting on the front at least when they're facing that way oh they're so wait 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 a minute are you perfectly aligned oh that guy looks slightly off i don't know how that occurred uh no false alarm Okay, let's not get distracted here. There's one very obvious finishing touch that we need to put on these wolves, and that is to sort out their dyes. The red one is obviously default, so that's already been taken care of. Missed one there, didn't I? And let's just do these. Boop, do doop, do doop. Oh, and this is just going to look gorgeous. I can feel it already. And there goes the very last one. <laughs> so now when you wander down this street, oh, that is such an adorable sight. I love it.
They, my friends, are the wolves of Wall Street, and they're here to take your diamond blocks. In fact, the prices that I set up have been going. Look at this. We made some sales. And when I say we, I obviously mean myself and some of the other permit holders. It seems that this price is good for sales. Uh, I don't, I don't know what else to put on that cliff, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of like, oh, that'll do. Okay, we're there then, are we? Right, let me go put that in the folder. That was, that was awesome. Very mean, Asuma. Apologize to all the wolves for smashing their faces with pistons. They loved it. They loved it, I tell you. They loved it. Right, let's uh, resume the music, resume the recording. Where are we at? There we're at. Okay. Um, I feel I feel like I want to... Sc I should have got a screenshot when the wolves were just like sitting around. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll grab a screenshot from the VOD. That'll, that'll work better for me. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Beautiful. It's been a great stream. Should we go see how many uh, slime balls we got? X, when will you be posting your next guitar cover, says their mighty midget? Yesterday. Yesterday I'll be posting the next one. I post them about every other week at the moment. I've been in a really strange mindset with recording more because I was really quite motivated to a while ago. I think when I run out of the ones I've got, then it will like kick in again, the desire to do it. But uh, the next bunch of covers that I make after this batch, they're, they're going to have like more production value, more care put into them. Like I really want to learn the songs inside out. I'm going to have a better guitar tone. I want the tabs to be better. Like I kind of want to kick it up a notch and um, like have a reason to do each one I think I'm going the wrong way here ah uh, we just got to look there ah it's working it's working and that is good enough for me for now yeah we didn't need to waste our time with uh, changing that clock we'll do that another time okay uh, Helavu Lopez has subscribed with the Prime. Thank you for that. That was 40 minutes ago. I missed it. I don't know how. I was recording a clip. I've got an excuse. Not really. I have no excuses. Thank you for your support. Appreciate using the Prime on me, my dude. Let's fly in this direction. And say, hello! Anybody there? Oh! Visuals. I can see. I can see my eyeballs. Hello! Hello, Hello. Exuma. Hey, Eskel. I'm good, thank you. I'm up bright am, and early uh, in the morning. Nice. As are I you, am, I see. Uh, <laughs> as, I, as am I, I'm streaming. Um, as am I. <laughs> as are you. I'm testing my new audio. Do, do I sound different to you? You listen, sound... Listen you shut up and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Do you know, did Sorry, you buy I that to, one? I had to. Dude, I, to. Yeah, I yeah. saw that in the shop and I was like... <laughs> I like I don't I haven't interacted with Joel at all, but like that is perfect for when you're like hanging out with him and having a chat and then just throw that in there and be like, dude, you are so rude. Yeah. Wait, you, wait, you... wait, wait, wait. Uh I, I'm I'm this is like testing your audio. I'm not actually recording or broadcasting your audio, so people are confused. Give me a second. Alright, alright. Here we go. I, I've got a perfect suggestion for you now though. Here we go. We should have Exuma Void now. Hello, I am see. I there? You're definitely there. You're definitely Excellent. there. And now I can individually lower your voice. Oh, it's so good. Can I so can good. I do a, a hermit dare on you? A hermit dare? Is yeah. this dare stick or what is this? I'm just I'm just doing this. It's like here's a hermit dare for Iskal, okay? Because okay. you're 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 much more social than me, and you'll you'll figure out a, a way to do this. But get Joel into a conversation with you, and drop that in there, and be like, dude, that's so rude. 
<laughs> Timing's totally yeah. off. You know? Gaslight him that it's him saying it to me. Yes. Exactly. Oh, that's good. So, so this is... Shut up and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll hear okay. that too. It might be a little... You might need like a third person because he might see the goat hand... Uh, goat horn in your hands, but... Uh... Yeah, I'd have to like... Uh, I mean, I could, I could be sneaky. Look. Shut up and subscribe to my YouTube channel Oh yeah, channel just right face now. the other way. <laughs> yeah, I'm just very, very quick. I do... Hold on, check this out. I spent... Yesterday, I posted a video yesterday. Me and Mumbo had a full conversation just using goat horns. It was really funny. Oh, wow. That's cool. I was, late, I was also late looking late. at them and thinking like, oh, can you chain like, a, you know, some sort of like a bunch of them together so they make sense? Oh, I got to go see that. That sounds so cool. Did you, did you just... Uh... Go on. I dare you. I dare you to do it. That... <laughs> I should have replied that, but I yeah, that's that's thing. what I was I was daring I was daring you. I should have had that one. <laughs> yeah, you. How many did you buy? Oh, you brought quite well, a few. I spent like thirty-two blocks of diamonds, and I went back last night and met with Scar, Cubfan, and Stress, and we were just sitting there laughing for like a good thirty minutes. It was yeah. really funny. <laughs> Dude, Cubs Cubs found a money maker right there, hasn't he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Might become the most profitable shop. We'll have to see. And since you're streaming and I'm streaming, he's looking for more people, people watching now. He's looking for more people to uh, make those clips. clips or yeah. To suggest clips. Yeah, yeah. So if you have anything in mind that anyone has said, then uh, you have a, quite a few funny ones in there, though. I got to <laughs> I say. say plenty of stupid stuff all the time. So my <laughs> audience is definitely going to find some funny ones. Uh, oh, that's really, really good. I, I think I only have one or maybe two, but um, more are coming, hopefully. Oh, your yeah, your oh, audience yeah. will find them. They'll know. The audience will find it. I mean, I've only just reset after America, I'd say. I'm here testing audio. I've sound... Oh, yeah, I, I asked yeah. you and then I interrupted you. How does it sound? You sound... I'm, I'm going to say better, but it's just a tiny bit roomy. Right? Like Roomy? What does roomy mean? Like, Wait, like when you say like and you, your volume pitches up a little bit, I feel like I hear the ambience of the room, like echoey. Like I don't, it's not like I hear an echo, oh. but you hear a bit more of the room in, in your voice. Whereas when you're lower and your deeper tones sounds kind of smooth. Is that a good thing or a bad? Okay, so it's a light echo, you say. Kinda, yeah. Um, hmm, interesting. I don't keep what talking. Now? How does this sound? Does this sound different? Sounds okay. J just uh, just say some things and then like I don't know, pitch up your voice, laugh or get okay, a little loud. Okay, okay, okay. So here we go. Did you know, Exuma Voids viewers, that Vodka Lady Five, the best channel on YouTube, just hit one hundred thousand subscribers and sent oh, me a man. plaque. What it's a great. cheeky plug. <laughs> yes, girl viewers. Did you know I have a second channel? There's stuff on it. Go subscribe. Um. What? Oh, why did I put it away? No. Oh, you... And subscribe oh, to my YouTube channel. Oh, would have been no. perfect. Would have been perfect. Oh, I put it away, bro. Dude, when, when your volume goes up, I can hear like some slight ambience, reverb, whatever you want to call it. It's not bad. It's just mm. slightly noticeable. Um... But when you're I mean, quieter, you it's bad. really, it's really nice. You'd say that, but like, I, I seem to be terrible at setting up my own microphone stuff. I've had nothing but headaches with it. <laughs> no, the thing is, Exuma, I have downgraded from an from an eight hundred dollar or seven hundred dollar audio interface to a hundred and fifty dollar audio interface. Yeah, sometimes because that works. I was tired of the size. Yeah, I was tired of the like size of my desk, and I heard very minimal difference. But you, you probably have like studio head. Like if I put on studio headphones, I bet you that there's a difference. Well, so what you're saying is that stop being so excited, this guy. Just be down here all the time. <laughs> kind of. Tommy came to Shawshank in 1963 <laughs> after a B and G. That's breaking an entry to you. <laughs> uh, I want to watch <laughs> that one man. again. Um, oh, it's so good. Like a lot of the time we're splitting hairs with this stuff, like usually it's good enough, right? And then you start going into the finer details. So I'd say like a lot of people are probably not going to notice, but because you because you like brought my attention to it, I then hear some of those finer details. I think you're going to be fine with it. Like 
Nothing blatantly I mean, wrong, I, basically. I released my last episode with it. I released my last episode with it, and I didn't mention it once. I can hear a clear difference when I edited it. It was like, okay, pre-voice, afterwards. I think it sounds better. It's more clear. Uh, do you, it's not do as you, spacey. Do you hear that difference when you watch it on YouTube, though? Uh, yes, yes, I hear okay. a difference. But I didn't mention it once, and I didn't see... I scrolled through comments and comments and comments. I didn't see a single comment. Uh, Interesting. Contained. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, th I think you. I, I think you don't have to worry about. It. Yeah, that's a good sign. I think it's pretty darn good. Just the fact that people don't notice that there was a difference is interesting, right? Yeah. Um. Anyway, you will have to write me a book, Exuma, so I can a book? Uh, remember this there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. R write me a book. Go on. I dare you. I dare you to do it. <laughs> uh. Okay. You can do it in your house. I'm a terrible multitasker. Now, here's the thing. I'm wrapping up my stream, so I'm coming over here to, like, send my people to you. Oh, wow. What a timing. This is like her... Wait, it's not Hermitcraft stream weekend, and I've just messed up it, so... It's not, but, like, I, I think it's smart if we just uh, communicate a bit more and, like... That's nice. Like, sometimes you just pick a time to stream, right? And, and then you end up streaming the exact same time as someone else when it's like, oh, I could have streamed two hours later or something. You know, it'd be nice... Because then the audience gets to, like, continue watching after... Watch everything. I've, yeah. uh, I've been sat here for the past two hours, just procrastinating. Oh. If I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, I just got stuck playing GeoGuessr. By the way, I'm inviting you now for us to record a little videos this week, maybe next week. Oh, okay. Uh, play some GeoGuessr. That sounds cool. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Do you mean... Play you're not games. talking Hermit GeoGuessr, right? You're talking GeoGuessr, GeoGuessr. I'm talking to you guys as you guys. So yeah. Yeah, I'll I'm be down for that. Is great, but it's like it, it. You only do it a few times, and then it's the same. Yeah, I know. I've I played it like oh maybe over six or seven years ago, so definitely could do it with like a refresher on it. Be good fun. No, we're playing normal. Gear, guess, I also have to record with you later this week. Um, I got okay. a thing that I'm gonna do, and I need to get a, like at least five hermits on at the same time. So I was hoping like the neighborhood would be around in the morning or something. And then I could throw this okay. uh, idea at Olia, but uh, it's a well, fun little thing. You do know that. You do know that. There's a line! <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to put like okay, an invisible that's skin that's on them, right? Like retexture oh. them so they're invisible. Can you, oh, can that's, you do that's that? That's the like, black okay, magic. Open, open your Schalke box again. I recorded something with you a while ago. And I opened a Schalke box of yours. And you have those... Uh, cancellation icons whatever it is for your inventory yes management. yeah and uh people in my comments were like uh exuma why is why does he have the barrier blocks is he cheating yeah so i i people were so confused i regret doing that because we have the custom stuff i keep thinking about custom solutions and i like overlook vanilla ones sometimes like i really should have just renamed like iron bars or something you know um mm -hmm. okay. another one i did like you won't notice this, but look at this pick. Look at that pick. Oh, it's on the other side. Which one? I threw it on the ground. <laughs> it's over here. On the floor. I don't see it. There. Anything? Okay, anything different good. about that? Uh, it looks a bit like uh, an iron pickaxe. But yeah. I suppose this is how netherite looks. I can't I, remember netherite. I changed. I changed it slightly. Uh, you might okay. now see the difference if I do this. Like, hold them both at the same time. I changed it okay. slightly yeah. so I would notice yeah. it because it's got fortune and I would occasionally, like, break my ender chest. So I was like, I want my fortune one to look different. I didn't want to go... It's I didn't want to make it, than... like... Yeah, I didn't want to make it, like, red or emerald color. And then after I realized, like, why not I just use the diamond pick? You know? <laughs> so it's yeah. like, I've got to stop thinking speed. custom. Yeah. Mm. Do you remember in Vault Hunters, we have, from Quark, we have the Diable Enchantment Glint. Yes, yes, I love I wish, that. I wish Vanilla had that. That would be wish awesome. Vanilla did that. Uh, maybe one day. I feel like they're adding a lot more stuff that the community suggests as of late. So if they stay on their current trend, I would not be surprised if something like that reached it to the game eventually. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I do want to show you one thing before you go. Yeah? Because I realize I have not shown you this. Okay. What we I'm got super going self conscious on. about the the voice being echoey now, but you say it's fine. Uh, like when I say it's echoey, I mean like in the softest of ranges. 
Yeah. So it's like nothing to be concerned about. Okay. Is this it here? Uh, the square what, box. Do you know what, yeah, do you know what this is? Is this your uh, your equivalent of like Hermit Challenge with the books? Yeah, this is not Hermit Challenge's initiation. This is Hermit Missions. Yes, yes, I saw this, yeah. And I have been running an alpha test, but then I had to... I mean, then I fell over, injured my wrist, and then I had to go to America. So I haven't really been able to uh, broadcast this so much, but it's been there for a couple of weeks. This is basically a place where you can go whenever you want a bit of content and do something fun and different. Yeah. You go here and you ring the bell, you'll get a mission that you have to complete. They're not grindy. They're not, like, designed to be uh, annoying. Um, and they're all pretty free in terms of what you can do. And then uh, when you're done, you take a mission token, which is a very valuable thing. Uh, and you put the book back in this barrel here. Oh, is this like something I can redeem later on? A mission token for something? Nobody knows. All I'm saying right now <laughs> Not is even you. very valuable. It's like, I'll well, figure that I out later. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say it. Um, it might uh. be like that. Might be similar to that. Oh, one last thing, Exuma, while I have you here. Yes. I... Uh, heard that I have to contact you for higher um, sales tokens. You have to hire me for sales tokens. No, I have to contact you for oh. higher sales Hi tokens. Oh, got ya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, fine. like, send me, send me in the mail a diamond block for each trophy level that you need up. Right. So, like, when you reach two fifty sales, you just tell me in a message, and then I get the post and I send the trophy back to you. Do I have to mail it to you? Can we not just, like, old olden days, just meet? Because I don't have a mailbox yet. It does mean I mean, you could, but I might then forget. So if it's in my mailbox, I've got no excuses. Oh, do you not have a mailbox yet? No. Oh, okay. I can... In, in that case, like, uh, yeah, I can do it for you if you don't have a mailbox. Hashtag blame EFO. Yeah, blame Etho, right. Hashtag Etho did it. I do have <laughs> enough sales for... Like, I bought the first one for 10 diamonds. Yep. They're now just a diamond block each because I'm trying to trying to push things onto that. Okay. I've made this many diamonds in profit since we started the server. Woo! 64 Ooh. times 9 plus 16. Fast uh, head the counting is 592. I think you've overcounted there. There's what? No, <laughs> you thief! Ah. You thief! Oh. So you need you need two trophies, right? I don't know what the levels are. Is it like a 250 and a 500? That is correct. Yeah. Then 750. Okay. Can I okay, can I yeah, take so them I out of here, or are you holding on to these no. to count? No, no, no! Don't touch! Don't touch! Got ya! Got ya! There are two. Oh, excellent! Thank you. Right, yep. I, I will get those to you later in the day, okay. if I can. Don't Should forget, be good. Don't Should have time. Forget. I won't. Don't forget it. Exactly. Um, here's your book, by the way. Do I need to sign it? Oh, thank you. Uh, I mean, you might just as well, right? I would have write in this book. I tried to do it while we were chatting because I got a bounce after the stream. This gal, I hereby, dearby... Yes. I hear... What did I write? <laughs> I hereby, dearby, <laughs> dear you to troll... What the heck is this? This is drunk. <laughs> That's good. Leave, leave uh, okay, I'm going to leave it drunk. Uh, I'll yeah. sign it as Drunk Asuma. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's stay off the booze, Exuma. Official. Oh, there. I probably spelt official wrong as well. Offical? You've got an offical there. Right. Okay. It's, here. it's done. Right, I'm going to raid you now. <laughs> okay, thank you, Zuma. Thank See you, ya, my dude. Appreciate it. Right. Uh, that's where y'all are going next. Hermitcraft action continues. Hot up, Harry. Thanks for gifting a sub. Gdizzle78, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Githrin1, thank you for the prime. And Lizzie Best, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Dare assume I'm not there. Yeah, we, we got there in the end. I have proofread it after I was trying to multitask and... Uh, it was horrendous. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. i got to bounce big time because um, I've overrun my stream time. So, massive thank you for everyone for tuning in today. And I'm going to send you over to Iskal. Take care, everyone. Have a great raid and a rest of your day. Bye-bye.